Hey guys, Crystal here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Here we talk about motherhood, lifestyle, and fashion. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Baby Trend City Clicker Pro um, stroller. I got this stroller because I have the Baby Trend jogger which came with a car seat and I wanted just another stroller that was lightweight and that would go with my um, car seat. So I decided to get this one. As you can see, um, I think I got it from Target actually. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna attempt to put this together. It doesn't look too hard. I think it's just like putting on the wheels and snapping some things into place, but we'll see how it all turns out. So I was actually pretty bummed that the Baby Train um, car seat was not compatible with a lot of other strollers because I would have preferred to get a different stroller. Um, and save some money and not having to get another car seat since she still is in like the carrier and I needed a lightweight car seat for like, I mean a lightweight stroller for like traveling and such because that baby train jogger, dude, that thing is heavy. So yeah, that's why I got this stroller in hopes that like everything will work out for me. Okay, so I have the stroller out of the box and I'm literally stuck on like how they have this like packaged and stuck together because I'm literally so confused as you can see this is my first time putting a stroller together and I thought that it would be like easy um yeah it's not that difficult but it's like okay what the heck so they actually had it like tied so I had to like use scissors to kind of get it apart which is why I was so confused on why it wasn't pulling apart so now you see that like now it comes apart from the actual frame um so yeah so all i need to do is just like open the frame up a little bit which you'll see here so i'm like one of those people who like try to do it first and then not read the instructions so yeah <laughs> now i'm gonna go ahead and get the instructions and see what i actually need to do so i'm not wasting any time because right now um, my baby is actually sleeping she still takes cat naps so I need to get this done like ASAP before she wakes up. Okay, so I'm going to start with the wheels. You literally just click them in. Like, I thought I would need like a tool or something, but you just click them in and that one is for the back so like the front wheels are smaller um than the back wheels so uh you'll be able to see that once you look at the instructions and plus when you take it out if you know anything about a stroller you'll be able to see that okay this is the front wheel this is the back wheel so go ahead and pop those in and there goes sadie i don't know why she literally keeps walking in front of the camera um but yeah um, so you go ahead and pop the front wheels in and then just go ahead and flip it so that you can put on the back wheels now because the back wheels go in on the sides like the front wheels went in like kind of upward these go in like on the sides and you literally just click that in as well boop right in there click and then you also want to like pull it up a little bit to make sure you got it in there because you don't want any like mishaps when you put baby in there. So then I um, put it in the other one. It goes straight in there. Just like that. Boop. And give it a little whirl and pull. Make sure that it's in there tightly. So now we're going to do the storage basket at the bottom. Um, all you do is snap it. So like everything is literally like snap, 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 snap. So you snap it in on this side, um, make sure that it's secure. And then you go ahead on the other side and snap it in as well. I don't know why this side was giving me a harder time than the other side. So just watch me struggle for a couple of seconds as I try to get it in there. Um, but yeah, just you got to use a little bit of like arm strength to kind of get it in there a little bit. But once you get it in there, it's like in there. So finally got it in there. There's the basket. Pretty decent size. 
Um, it's actually pretty big. I feel like you can fit like a bag or the diaper bag in there like comfortably plus like more stuff. So yeah, that's the storage basket underneath. For the actual seat part of the stroller, there's like two inserts on each side and you literally just snap it in there again. Um, so you just make sure that it's lined up on each side and it just snaps in. As you see right there, um, make sure that it's secure. And then look how big the canopy um, shade is. Like it's huge, like very big. And then you can just go ahead and adjust the leg and the foot rest for your baby if it want, if she wants or he wants to like have his legs down or up. You can adjust it that way. This stroller comes with a baby tray, which is actually pretty big as well. Um, so you just put that on each side and it's easy to like take on and off. Like if you have to take it off to take your baby out. Or if you want to have it off while your baby is in there and it like folds down as well for the car seat. So um, yeah, you just attach that and it snaps to right in. As you can see, it's right in there. Um, you can lift it up and go on. Y'all, this back part I'm about to show you gave me a run for my money. Like I swear this part was not in the instructions. Like I was like, what the heck? Where does it go? Where does it go? And I couldn't find this stroller on YouTube for whatever reason. That was another reason why I decided to do this video. But there's like snaps on the bottom. And you like snap the this pole around it. I don't know if that makes sense. But like you, you just have to look at it. You'll have to see it. But like yeah. I'm pretty sure it was not in the instructions. And this is how you adjust the seat. Um, from like recline to sitting up straight. It's just that string right there. You just pull it and then like pull the string. And then this stroller came with like this detachable mom tray or storage tray. I don't know, whatever you call it. Um, so you can just take it off and Velcro it on. It literally just Velcros on each side, which I don't know. I would prefer one to be like a hard tray that like stays on there because this is kind of like flimsy i feel like if you put a drink in there it can spill over but hey that's just me but i mean i guess it's easy for like cleaning wise and if you really don't want it you can take it off because it can just collect a lot of junk and then i'm just gonna show you guys how to take this off and flip it so that the baby is facing you super easy so you have it flipped and then that arm part comes down, so if you're like taller, shorter, you can adjust it, which I really like that because I'm 5'10", and I'm always worried about like these strollers not being tall enough for me, but it was perfect. All right, so let's get into the important part of why I bought this stroller um, and put it on the car seat. So you flip this part down, the tray in the front, you flip that down, grab your car seat, and you snap it on there. Okay, it's on there, but it does not feel secure to me. Like, I don't know, I'm just not really happy with it. And look how big and bulky it looks. Like, I was under the impression that you can, like, just use the frame and put the car seat on there. But that is a different type of a car seat, I guess. But it's still by baby train, which I feel like they should have specified that on the website, but they didn't. Here's an overall view of the stroller. Like I stated before, the canopy is pretty big. The stroller rolls pretty decent. Like, I mean, it looks okay, but it just looks, I don't know, it looks kind of big to me. Not really what I was going for. Um, I was going for to like try to use the frame and then just attach the car seat. So now I'm going to show you how to um, fold it down. As you can see, I'm like struggling. I'm like, okay, how do you do this? Again, I probably should have read the instructions. Okay, so here, still trying to figure it out. I got it like halfway. So you have to pull the actual like handle down and then it'll go. But wait, there's more. See how it's not actually folding? It's not working, right? I'm like, what the heck? Like, why is this not working? So I'm like, put it back together. Pull everything back to like how it was just normally. And then 
take off the actual seat. Okay, so I take the seat off. At this point, I'm getting like super annoyed because this is not what I like bought the stroller for. So now it'll fold down without the seat, you guys. So technically, or basically, you have to take the seat off to fold it down. And now it's like folded down easily. Like, I don't know about y'all, but like, I don't have the patience for that. You have to take the seat off and then fold it and then put it in the car. So, yeah, no. Overall, like, this was not what I was looking for. And I'm going to go ahead and return this. So, yeah. It's And it's still kind of, like, bulky when you fold it down as just the frame. And then, like, I'm having a hard time even trying to, like, secure it. But, yeah. No. Nope. Nope.